If you're under the age of 13 and you're trying to save money, you came to the right place. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and support this channel because we are trying to get to 30,000 subscribers by the end of this month. Also, while you're down there, you might as well give this video a thumbs up. The reason I decided to make this video, and I know it doesn't target all my audience, is because there is a lot of people leaving comments saying that they can't afford the sneakers that they want because it's too expensive, but there is a way for anybody to make money. And this video specifically targets kids because it's way easier for them to do these tips than it is for a teenager or an adult to do them, which I will make different videos for different age groups. So anyways, that's enough talking. Let's get right to it. So tip number one, you have have to have some sort of income doesn't mean you have to have a job you just have to have some sort of income from somewhere it doesn't matter how and the first way to do that especially as a kid it's the easiest way is ask your parents for an allowance it is really not that hard it doesn't even have to be a huge allowance you can literally ask them for like five bucks ten bucks twenty bucks at most a week but don't just ask them for it without doing anything around the house do something around the house so they feel like you deserve the money you can do little things such as laundry all you can do is grab the clothes put some detergent in there maybe softener if you have some and then all you gotta do is wait an hour and then put the clothes from the washer to the dryer and that's it if you want to go the extra mile and fold it you can do that as well and I'm pretty sure your parents will not mind giving you money for that another little thing you can do is take out the garbage I'm pretty sure everybody has at least two garbage days out the week all you gotta do is take the garbage from the house put it in the garbage can in your garage or outside wherever your garbage can is or maybe take it to the dumpster which is even easier because you don't have to take the garbage cans out on garbage day all you have to do is constantly just take the garbage out to the dumpster if you have a garbage truck that passes by your house then all you gotta do is take out the garbage cans it's really not that hard you're not even doing a big job you're literally taking 10 minutes in total for each of these tasks and to get paid your allowance it's honestly worth it. One other thing you can do to get paid from your parents as a kid is to get paid for your grades. So pretty much make a deal with them. Ask them if they can give you some money if you do get good grades on your report card. I remember when I was in school, me and my mom made a deal that for every A that I got on my report card, I would get 20 bucks for each of them. And that actually does stack up as a kid because you guys get report cards like every eight to nine weeks, which is quarterly. As far as college students go, we get report cards pretty much every semester, which is every 16 weeks. And now I don't get an allowance anymore. I pretty much just work for my own money. Another thing you can do is clean the bathroom, which is a little bit of a hassle. I wouldn't put myself in there as a kid. Like I knew when I started cleaning the bathroom, Bathroom, I really didn't want to do it and even until I moved out I was cleaning the bathroom I wasn't getting paid for it I just had to do it as a chore around the house if you guys are willing to do that for an allowance be my guest one thing you guys have to remember is that you guys are kids and you guys can't physically work out in the real world so any income at your age really helps especially when you're gonna be saving it or investing it which is what I'm gonna get into in tip number two so as a kid when you have money it's easy to be spent because you don't know how valuable it is in the real world and there's always gonna be things that you want and as a kid I know it's harder to control yourself and not buy things off impulse such as candy snacks or little toys here and there but you guys have to keep your eyes on the prize and and for my viewers, you guys are most likely sneakerheads, or you guys just like fashion and you guys wanna buy this shirt, this clothes. And in order to do that, you have to save your money. You can't be spending it because if you spend it, you're not gonna have the money to buy the things that you really want. And that's something that I learned this year and I learned to input it into my mentality so I can have a better future and have the things that I want later on in life. And like I said, the same thing applies to you guys, just on a smaller spectrum. Moving on to tip number three is to invest your allowance. As a kid, it's way easier to invest your money than it is when you're older because when you're older, you have bills to pay and it's harder to have money to invest in. And if you're a kid and you don't know what investing is, it's pretty much putting your money towards something to make you more money. So for example, something that you guys can do, which I noticed a lot of people were doing in my middle school, sell candy, sell little things at your school. You can sell Jolly Ranchers, you can sell lollipops, you can sell gum. Honestly, all these things will be bought. Kids love to buy things like this. Like I said earlier, you probably have the impulse to buy those little things in the store. Well, imagine in school when people don't have anything to do with their board or they just want a little snack here and there. You can literally sell candy and snacks to them. Your school might not allow it, but you have to keep it low key. In the end, you're not really gonna get in big trouble for selling candy inside your schools, especially to your classmates, because if a teacher sees that you're doing that, they'll probably just tell you to stop, but they're not gonna send you to detention or you're gonna get in trouble. They're not gonna call your parents or any of that. And honestly, a lot of sneakerheads they don't know it, but they are in a way entrepreneurs, especially resellers. You guys found a way to make a culture of business, which is pretty impressive. And there's little kids always at sneaker events reselling big sneakers. And I know as a kid, you might not be at that level yet, but you can be there. Just you gotta start small and build your way up and that's with anything. So you guys might be asking, where can I get the candy? If your parents have a membership to Costco, BJ's or Sam's Club, you can buy boxes of candy for 25, 30 bucks and sell each candy for a dollar. And I think every pack comes with like 40 to 50 candies. And don't worry about there being snacks that you don't like because in the end, everything will sell. There will be somebody that will wanna buy that snack. If they're just hungry for candy, they will buy it. Another place to buy candy is a dollar store. You can literally buy Jolly Ranchers like this at the dollar store for a couple bucks. You can also buy lollipops for a couple bucks 
box at the dollar store and all you gotta do is carry in your book bag and offer your friends candy. Hey, do you wanna buy the candy? These you can sell for 50 cents each, maybe 25 cents each and you'll still make your money back. This bag right here, I bought it at Publix for less than $5. And before I started eating them all, there was about 40 in here. So if you sell each one at 25 cents and there's 40 in here, you're getting $10. And that's a $5 profit if you buy the bag for $5, which I know this bag is less and you can buy it even cheaper at the dollar store. And the same thing goes for lollipops. The little ones that come without gum, you can sell for 25 cents. And the ones that come with gum, you can sell for 50 cents. And you're definitely going to be making profit. And these bags sell out in a week. And eventually, if you get big enough of doing this in school, People will go to you, they will look for you just to buy snacks. I remember when I was in middle school, there was one kid, he would always bring different candies to school and he would make his money. And me at that age, I was making no money. I was only making my allowance and I didn't think to invest. I didn't have nobody to tell me to invest. And I figured if I got into it, nobody was gonna buy from me because everybody was buying from this kid. But at that moment, my mentality wasn't strong enough to think that there's competition and you have to knock that competition out. So even if there's somebody else doing it already in your school, go ahead and start, go compete against them. There's always gonna be competition everywhere. Just don't be scared to go up to people and ask them if they want buy candy. Literally all you gotta do is lean over to your classroom and be like, hey, do you wanna buy some candy? They're gonna say yes or maybe they won't have the money at the moment, but then they'll remember for the next day to ask their parents to bring money and they'll bring 50 cents for your little candies and you got a little business going on inside your school. Will this right here make you rich? Definitely not. But as a kid putting money into your pockets is a big thing because I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of kids not getting an income. And let's say worst comes to worst and tip number one doesn't work, your parents don't give you an allowance. Then don't be afraid to ask them to buy you a box of candy from the dollar store, from Sam's, Costco, BJ's or anywhere. Have them buy you a bag. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna say no. Your parents are most likely to help you out if they see you're trying to help yourself out. And once you sold that first box, use that profit to buy your next box. And as the profit keeps growing, you can buy more and more boxes and keep on selling them and your income will just keep growing. If you follow these three tips, eventually you'll have enough money to buy yourself whatever you want. And in this case, it is a sneaker channel and most of my viewers are sneakerheads. So you're most likely gonna go out there and buy the next sneaker release or buy a shirt, buy some clothes, whatever it is, I recommend you don't do that. I personally recommend that you buy that next hype sneaker release and you resell it because that resale is gonna come quicker. Those 40 bucks that you profited in two weeks by selling candy, you made that profit in the weekend by selling a pair of sneakers. And that's gonna drive you to keep reselling. And honestly, reselling is one of the easiest ways to make money as a kid because there's not much you can do. You can't work. You really can't invest in other things other than buying things and selling them. And one bonus tip, which goes for anybody, not just for kids, only spend the money on something if you have five times the amount of money. So these sneakers right here were $300. If I multiply that times five, that's $1,500. That means I needed to have $1,500 in the bank to buy these pair of sneakers to still be comfortable. Because because if I spend $300 out of 1500, I'm still gonna have $1,200 and I'm perfectly fine with that. Like it really does not affect my pockets that much. It's only taking out a fifth of what I already had. Anyways guys, if you're a kid watching this or a parent or whoever is watching this video up to this point, I really hope you guys didn't enjoy it. And if you guys did, please give the video a thumbs up if you guys did like these tips. I really hope it helps you guys, especially for the kids out here watching. I hope you guys don't just watch this video and not do anything with it. I want you to guys take away from this video, implement it into your life and go out there and actually save your money. You will be glad you did it. So make sure you go, go out now, go talk to your parents as soon as you click off this video go out there and ask your parents for an allowance go ask them for five ten bucks fifteen bucks twenty bucks whatever you think it deserves oh and by the way if you guys want to see how i made money for sneakers go ahead and click the little eye in the corner i think it's either on this corner right here it's right here make sure to click on that and click on the video and you guys can see how i made my money to buy my sneakers today's fan of the day shout out does go to life of mike if you want to be fan of the day all you gotta do is leave a positive comment down below and you do have a chance to become fan of the day for my next video anyways that's it for today i'll see you guys in the next one make sure that you guys keep grinding it's your bar single sign now